everybody! Welcome, welcome, welcome! It's Serena Kazawa here, and today we're going to be getting into some VTuber newsy news! But before we do, please make sure to smash subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, click the like, and if you're feeling fancy, give my Jackie a little cuddle. Alright guys, <laughs> on to our first piece of newsy news! This piece of newsy news was kind of crazy. It happened while I was sleeping, and I woke up and I'm like, holy god! Oh my goodness! So this is Watson Amelia. So who is Watson Amelia? Watson Amelia is a female English-speaking virtual YouTuber associated with Hololive, debuting in 2020. She was part of Hololive English First Generation Myth. Okay, so a uh, very prolific VTuber in the space. So why are we talking about Watson Amelia? Her nickname is Ame for short. Okay, well guys, so this is posted on the Hololive Production English Twitter slash X account. It says announcement regarding. Watson Amelia, thank you for your continued support of Hololive production. Yeah, we've come to announce that Watson Amelia, a member of Hololive English, will conclude all of her channel and social media activities on September 30th, 2024. We would like to thank all of her amazing fans and everyone involved for their warm support. Though her channel activities will end, Watson Amelia will remain an affiliate of Hololive production moving forward. We kindly request you refrain from contacting our talents regarding this matter and would like to sincerely thank you for your continued support and encouragement of Watson Amelia. Oh my God, what? This is crazy. It's like a sort of kind of graduation. So technically her channel activities will end, but she'll remain an affiliate of Hall Live Production. What exactly does that mean? We're not really sure. But let's continue. There's more. So this is posted on Amelia's actual Twitter slash X account. And it says, Thank you again, everyone, for the warm wishes. I'm not really sure what to say. I thought I could keep it together during the announcement. Try to keep up the positivity. But just remembering all the wonderful memories we've made. Dot, dot, dot. Again, sorry about the weird timing. I wish I could have let you guys know sooner. Or maybe my wording was not the best. It's uncharted territory, so I do hope the official post can help clear some things up. I'm so grateful to be part of Hollow History. Remember to rest well if you can and drink water. I've decided we'll have a chatting stream tomorrow and continue our GTA adventures the day after. Thank you. So this was a post on her Twitter slash X account. It says, uh, talk starting in 15 minutes. This is what actually happened during that live talk. So let's take a quick listen. Kind of let the anxiety get the better of me. And, you know, I... I I do have a small list of reasons behind why I decided, but um, none of them are personal or private circumstances. So, you know, don't concoct any crazy rumors, okay? My reasons are, are, are really simple, but it's not something I'm going to be getting into. So essentially she has a list of reasons, but it's not, not anything that she's willing to show. And uh, don't make up any crazy personal things. So anyways, that's, that's essentially what she said. She does have a pin post here and it says, Hello, thank you all so much for the kind comments and wishes to sum everything up. I'll be concluding my general activities such as streaming, event participation, and regular content. But every once in a while, I will be participating in different Hall Life projects. This is a new step for everyone, so please wait patiently to see where it goes. I did get a little emotional, so, so many memories of amazing times on stream with chat and friends flew through my mind, though. Sorry about that. Please read the official post here. And to clear up any misconceptions, I will not be joining staff, but if anyone ever needs any tech help, Still try my best to assist if I can. Okay, and this is Maury Calliope, and uh, this is essentially what she has to say on Ame leaving. In respect for her wishes, I'm going to say that I support whatever path she wants to take. Myth will always be five, and I know all of our hearts are very um, heavy. Things will not mm. ever really truly mm. be the same, but what I want more than anything, even more in the persistence of and being a part of a full person unit, is the happiness of my friend. I'm not asking anyone to take the situation lightly and suddenly get happy, but what we can do now is yeah. look forward to a week full of uh, the Ame adventures we have come to love over the years. Let's have fun yeah. with her and uh, do it to the absolute fullest that we can. The main takeaway is to always support your Oshi while they're there because they're not always going to be forever. It's only for now, right? Only for now. Okay, and then this is Fauna uh, and her, her and her thoughts on Ame leaving. It says, Ame, Hollow EN has been shaped by Ame from the very beginning and there are not enough words to describe my gratitude to her. So many of my memories here are thanks to her and I will cherish those moments forever. Thank you for everything, Ame. You will always shine brightly. Uh, and then... So, so, and then, uh, let's see here. Where am I? Sorry. Okay. And then this is from Yagu, who is the Cover Corp CEO. And Yagu says, thank you for all your hard work streaming and growing with us until now, Amelia. Although things will change, we look forward to working with you again in the future. Please keep in touch. Which is a very nice sentiment. It's not like, go to hell. And here's all the list of things you did wrong. I mean, 
Yegu is known to be a pretty awesome CEO. So that's very kind. All right. So then it's posted on the Kurosanji subreddit by Mike the Ike 99. And this says, Doki Bird, appreciate the contribution Amelia Watson has laid out for VTubers. So this is a this is a screenshot of uh, Doki's Twitter slash X account. And Doki says, Thank you for everything you've done. You've inspired me so much in my career as a VTuber and shaped it to what it is today. You've pioneered the EN VTubing sphere with your ideas and creativity. I looked into 3D because of your 3D worlds and concerts for myth and the tournaments and events were inspired and motivated by all your hard work towards the group projects you've done for Hololife. I wouldn't have been as motivated to go beyond my capabilities without you inspiring me in every step. You have such a creative and innovative mind in the field of entertainment and use of technology and I know you will do great things in the next chapter of your life. Thank you again. I will always look up to you. So, so that is, that's what Doki had to say on it. So this is what the good people on Reddit got to say about it. Well, don't worry. We'll continue selling merchandise. And they're like, oh, this is, this is very important info. Maybe a little bit tone deaf there, but okay. And then this person says, so that's why Gura said they had something cool prepared for anniversary that they won't be able to do again. Ah, okay. Dot, dot, dot. This all, it's all making sense now. Crazy. I did not expect Ame to be the first to graduate from myth. Been a great four years. One of the most memorable streams for me would probably be her 3D with a Robocall. And now this is the actual announcement on the website. So this is posted as of today, the day of filming, which is September 20th. And it says an announcement to our fans regarding the conclusion of Watson Emilia's channel activities. And then it says Watson Emilia, a member of the VTuber group Hall Live English, will conclude all of her channel activities on September 30th, 2024. This would include all of her regular activities, including live streaming on platforms such as Twitch, social media activities, live event participation, and regular release of new merchandise. Since her debut as a member of Hololive English founding generation, Hololive English Myth, she has actively provided her fans with unique content, as well as participated in all sorts of activities beyond streaming that significantly contributed to spreading VTuber culture overseas. Though her channel activities will end, Watson Amelia will remain an affiliate of Hololife production moving forward. We plan to continue selling merchandise and other items that are already on sale. Any future activities that involve Watson Amelia will be announced through official social media and other channels. We would like to thank all of our wonderful fans and stakeholders for their warm support. We kindly request you refrain from contacting your talents regarding this matter and would like to sincerely thank you for your continued support and encouragement of Watson Amelia. So that is, so F's in the chat for Ame. It sucks. It sucks to see her go, but hopefully she moves on to bigger and brighter things. And, you know, uh, whatever she does in life, we will support her fully 100%. Nyang, nyang. All right, on to our next piece of newsy news. This is Nexus. If you guys remember, Nexus is the quote unquote, My Hero Academia. And I always say My Hero Academia because that's what they say on their actual website. I don't mean that this is an actual My Hero Academia. This is just like, this is what they have branded themselves at, okay? Nexus is pretty much the cutthroat agency. But anyways, let's see what they got to say. So this is announcement of termination. Who's surprised here? Announcement of termination contract with Leo Bell Persum. And then it says, we would like to thank all of you for your support of Nexus and our talents. Ugh. I always hate that line. I always hate that line. It's the worst. We regret to announce that effective immediately our contract with Leo Bell Person will come to an end and he will not be continuing to perform streaming activities with Nexus. Following an internal incident and a discussion with management team, Leo Bell has made the decision to leave Nexus. We sincerely wish him all the best of luck in all of his future endeavors. To our fans, we would like to sincerely apologize for this announcement. We ask you to refrain from asking our current active talents regarding the situation. Thank you, Nexus management team. Internal incident. An internal incident. I feel like I've heard this before. I don't know. Personally, I don't think that this is the kind of company. I, I feel like, you know, making your coworkers your enemy, it doesn't make for a great workspace. It makes for a toxic workplace. So anyways, wishing you all the best. Leo Bell, decide to come back to VTubing then that's great. And if not, then that's also great too. So please to make sure to take care of yourself during this time. Okay, on to our next piece of newsy news. So guys, if you don't know, TwitchCon is this weekend. TwitchCon is uh, leaving people a little bit unfulfilled. So this is the uh, TwitchCon swag bag for attendees featuring thumbsticks and acne cream. What the hell is this? So yeah, it's a, it's a crappy plastic bag with a lanyard, acne cream, and and two thumbsticks this is quite insulting because this is essentially like giving 
credence to the whole like, oh, you know, you know, streamers are just people with acne in their basements. Like it's kind of, it's very hurtful, it's very prejudiced and very tone deaf. Twitch has been making a lot of L's lately. I mean, like you guys saw with me earlier this week. And, and now this, this is a little bit disappointing. I'm not gonna lie, people make so much efforts to come out to Twitch cons. You take flights, you book hotels, like it's like a whole thing. And for you to get a swag bag with this, with, with acne cream is very disgusting. And it's, it's very tone deaf on Twitch's part. And I feel like they've been kind of tone deaf on a lot of things. So I mean, like this isn't completely a surprise, but it's, it's really sad. It's really like disheartening why they thought acne cream was something that people needed in their TwitchCon uh, swag bag. So stupid, big L. Um, and this is, this is posted on the Twitch Reddit by Chase Beyond. It says, Twitch San Diego 2024 swag bag. And here, yep, yeah, it says, defeat the breakouts, level up your skin. This is so, like, like someone had to make this. Like, like this, this got approval, guys. This got funded, guys. Like this is insane. And here it says, nice of them to have it bagged so you can put it in the garbage. <laughs> I have to agree, yeah. I am floored. This is as bad as TanaCon. <laughs> and the promo products get worse. Checking other Twitch con bags. This is one of the worst bags I've seen. It's a terribly bleak sign of the future of the platform. If this is all they can throw together for your swag bag. The real question is, do they fill up the kiddie pool with ball pit balls? Because that's the real measure of a true con. Yeah, exactly. This is, if you know, if you know, you know. Okay, anyways, guys, that is the disgusting, crappy swag bag at Twitch. And Twitch has just taken the L's lately. They've been really stupid. On to our next piece of newsy news. Yeah, guys, this is me. This is me, guys. Why are we talking about me today? Well, guys, I came into... <laughs> my. I, I tweeted a very angry tweet because look, look at this. Look at this disgusting, lewd behavior I was doing. That's right. I was sitting in, in front of a pool of ducks mid blink and i was flagged as themes so thank you so much for your support with this tweet and it has it has popped off i appreciate everyone commenting on it it's it's been really helpful because like man was i freaking mad i was so mad anyways um here is uh here is the sample of what exactly i was doing while that happened so so because i know people are people have speculated a lot of stuff like oh you know you're making a lewd face i was literally blinking but okay let's take a look this is what i was doing Oh my god. Did I? Did I? Oh Jesus. God, again. AGAIN! Okay. I can't believe this happened again. Can't believe this happened again. What exactly am I doing? What exactly am I doing that is for some reason making me... Uh, sexual content. Again. I just got an email from Twitch. Your Twitch account, Lydia VTuber, has been warned. As of 2.26, it's now 2.28. My god. Twitch is committed to keeping our community safe for everyone. As part of that, we require all users to ensure anything shared on their account abides by Twitch terms of service, community guidelines, local law, and additional safety policies. Based on a review of your activity or content, we have issued a warning on your account. We require streamers to apply the appropriate content classification label to their channel when a strike includes any of the following mature related games nope sexual themes nope drugs nope intoxication nope excessive tobacco use nope violent or graphic depictions nope gambling no significant profanity or vulgarity no we're writing to inform you we have reviewed one of your recent streams and have applied the sexual themes content to it i don't get it i i honest to god i don't get it anymore i don't understand how i keep getting these stupid Sexual content things. We watched a whole live video. Everyone was dressed. They were talking about a bento. Oh my god. This is so dumb. This is so dumb. Like, I don't even... I can't even comprehend. I can't even comprehend how this is happening. It's so frustrating. That is... Okay, so so for people who are like, Oh, maybe you're doing something. Like, that is exactly what I was doing, okay? You guys could see what I was doing. So, uh, yeah, absolutely ridiculous. It's so stupid. I am so angry. So thank you, Danganronpa05 on the virtual YouTubers subreddit for sharing my story because I was really upset. So so they said, VTuber Lily Nikozawa is another victim to the recent Twitch bans for content. So this is what I was doing. 
You all saw it. I was in a pool. That's it. That's what I was doing. <laughs> okay. It was nothing crazy. Okay. Nothing, nothing nuts. I was watching a hollow live. Uh, they're talking about, they were talking about like bentos and like, it was a video about Corona and it was really cute. And then right after, bam, right after that, bam, uh, it's ridiculous. Anyways. And then this person says, gee, she's not even in her swimsuit. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> reason big anime boobs. They won't say it, but that's the reason. Has boobs. Thank you for reaching out to our community engagement team. Your issue has been closed. <laughs> Probably a false report made by the same reprobate targeting Shy Lily, Zen, Iron Mouse, Fei Fei, Taiga, and others. I mean, who knows, right? Uh, this is not the newsy news I wanted to hear. I know, right? <laughs> thank you, Corn Nublet. Everyone, thank you so much for your support on it. That was really, I appreciated you. I would like to show you this. Your Honor, I'd like to submit this as evidence to the court. Uh, okay, so this this is posted by Adempa Fish. Says a clip of the stream of one of the top five st female streamers on Twitch. How fast would a VTuber get banned with the same setup? Please don't hate on her. Also, I just don't understand why this is fine, but VTubers get banned for showing less skin and less suggestive activities. I'm confused. Okay, okay. So let's let's see this amazing gameplay. Look at this incredible gameplay, folks. Wow. Did you even notice there was a game at the top right? Not to me. <laughs> was this equivalent to this? Ducks in the pool? Is that equivalent? According to Twitch, I'm far worse. Long story short, I have been uh, slapped with the content themes. It is a uh, content classification that I cannot remove for six days. I have, I have been uh, branded as a deviant according to twitch so anyways i was really miffed as you can imagine i was pretty miffed so i posted this tweet and this tweet got so much engagement and i really want to say thank you all for for your support during this difficult time because i felt really i re i felt really upset i was really angry i just wanted to read you guys some of these here and ophelia says you have to be shitting me twitch and then bow the whale says twitch is so hypocritical Estrella says, but you're actually one of the least sexual content creators out there. Thank you. Yes, exactly. Uh, then Finley Fish says, it might be the tan lines. Nate Civil says, it means you turned on the mod and they didn't like that. Mama Oko says, it seems like you're the latest victim. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Shadow Falls says, they won't explain anything because there's no problem. People are constantly exploiting the report system and they enable it by not doing proper checks. And then Ken Kami says, you too now? <laughs> nah, bro. Now I'm getting furious. And then Cloud says, what the heck, Twitch? Y'all need to start getting your stuff together because this nonsense being targeted at VTubers is ridiculous. AJ Shell. Oh my goodness, AJ Shell. Uh, so AJ Shell says, this is BS. I'm so sorry you have to deal with this. Anyways, long story short, guys. Thank you so much for your support. So I'm so grateful that you were all able to spread this message because it's getting really bad over here on Twitch. I don't know exactly what's going on. Um, so yeah. So for the next, uh, for the next six days, I will have my, uh, uh category locked as a, uh, themes. Uh, it is mandatory. I, I cannot unlock it. So, uh, yeah. So for the next, uh, for the next six days, I will be, I will be unfortunately labeled as themes. So me and me, so come see me and the sexy ducks over at Twitch. <laughs> That's it for the VTuber news and news, but we do have someone for the VTuber spotlight. This is Mayfei. So let's, let's take a listen of who Mayfei is. Okay, here we go. I'm Mayfei, a real life actor turned VTuber and V singer. You might know me as a little Filipino girl in the latest Valorant Masters Madrid commercial. Cute! Or my goddess English song cover. I don't know what you're saying, no, I don't know what to say. I do a variety of things on stream. I even do some pretty crazy karaoke streams. You think if I went to the bathroom right now, I'll be able to make it to the next That's so cute. The mindset needed to navigate showbiz. I'll see you around. Uh, so yeah, so this is, so this is Mayfei on Twitch and, and yeah, that was a beautiful introduction, Mayfei. And then this is Mayfei on Twitter. She makes some like awesome, like very curated videos. Like it's all very clean, no scuff. Like this is beautiful. Anyways, I just want to show you this one really quick, just cause I thought it was really Growing nice. Growing up, I have always thought that it's really about balance, right? Trying to balance your work life, social life, like all of these different things. But I do feel like it is very difficult to achieve balance because we reward people who work more, to earn more and to do things more. I have changed my mindset to, it's not about balance. 
It's about harmony. Yeah, so anyways, I just thought that was like really nice. She has like some great messages, amazing model, and some really, really good life lessons. So anyways, guys, if you want to give Mei Fei a follow, this is her on Twitter slash X, and this is her on Twitch. All right, guys, that's it. That's the end of the VTuber Newsy News. Please make sure to hit like, smash, subscribe, ring the bell. Come see me on Twitch. Buy my decky. Please support me, guys. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care. Bye-bye. so much for watching the video. Shout out to my patrons that help make these videos possible. If you want to help support the channel, you can always join my Patreon, subscribe to me on Twitch, or become a member on YouTube. I also have links to merch in the description below. As always, I appreciate your support, and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah!